Have you guys seen this insanely cool new cake trend? It is gorgeous, it's mesmerizing, and it looks absolutely delicious. So today, I'm gonna be trying to make mini versions of these cool cakes. Let's do it. I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is a baking project, but that doesn't mean it has to be difficult. I asked my local bakery to make me two sheet cakes unfrosted, and I can just use a cookie cutter to cut little circles, stack them up, bam, little cakes. And because I have mini cakes, I can make as many flavors as I want. So I'm gonna be doing some tiramisu action, pulling out some cereals. This is gonna be fun. Which shall I prefer, chocolate or vanilla cake? I tend to go with vanilla myself. There's just so much more you can do with it. Holy mackerel, this is a lot of cake. Honestly, this is worth it for the cake scraps alone. Now, do we think I made the frosting? Heck no. Store-bought city, y'all. It looks dang good, too. Cake, 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 cake. On to the main event, the cream topping. In a saucepan, I'm whisking together one and a third cup of heavy cream, one and a half cups of milk, and four tablespoons of cornstarch until really well combined. Now I'm turning on the heat and waiting for it to start thickening up. Once I feel it thickening up, I can add in a can of sweetened condensed milk. I wanna heat that up just a little bit before taking it off the burner. Oh, y'all, this frosting is Thick. I want this topping to be not too thick where it just sits on top, but also not too runny where it just slides right off the cake. It needs to be a slow, lovely cascade. Okay, so this I can now remove from the heat and I'm just gonna wait until it cools down completely. If you put it in the fridge, you can put a layer of plastic wrap on top so it doesn't form a film. And then I'm just gonna make like three more batches. I need enough filling for nine cakes. Nine cakes, why did I do that? There's only one of me. I got too excited. I separated it to make some chocolate and some strawberry. So I got these sheets of clear acetate from a craft store and I'm just gonna make a little tight seal around my cake so that the topping will stay on top until I'm ready to release it. Take it off and we're in business. This would be so fun to do for a girls' night or just like entertaining your kids, a little supervision. It's an art project and an edible craft all in one. Now we fill her up. Vanilla creme, some cocoa powder, Ooh. some chocolate curls, some white chocolate curls, cause why not? And a few chocolate chunks for good measure. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this. Now I can't proceed without having a bite. Okay. Just the best thing I've eaten all day. Maybe all week. Dang. trying this new cake trend. So make sure you're watching all recipes on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram so you don't miss any of the fun, trendy foods I'm trying this year. Oh. You didn't see that. Oh shoot, I did the wrong color. Oh well, we can do double.